Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef. It's Monday and I'm playing The Sapling. I'm really, really tired today. Those of you that stuck around for last night's live stream will know exactly why. <laughs> and uh, yeah, on top of the live stream, I cooked myself a meal when I was finished and watched The Lighthouse, so I didn't get to bed until gone 4am. And then I got up about 8 a.m. So, yeah, I'm, I'm super tired. Anyway, yeah, the sapling. I've got a thing that I want to try today, and that is to make carnivals successful. Anytime I've played this, carnivals have always, always not, not done well. So I'm going to try and change that today. I want to, like, tweak the creature that I make to be a carnivore so that it's, like, super successful. Uh, I'm going to load in. I'll be right back. Okay, right. Here we are. Just going to make a pretty simple plant. Uh, yeah. Oh, good God. There we go. Let's have one of them. One of those. That looks kind of weird, but... You know me, they always do. Let's have a couple of these. These seem to, oh, seem to be good, like, middle-of-the-ground leaves. They work in, like, a variety of situations. Looks really weird. It kind of looks like one of those wacky arm-flailing inflatable tube men things that you see. I don't know why I think it looks like that, but I'm sure you get the idea. Look. It's wacky and it's waving. Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm definitely a bit loopy today. Let's let's give it some flowers. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I'll I'll just put two here. <laughs> right. Let's uh, go ahead and dump these into the world. This is the world that I made previously with mostly ambient temperatures. So I'm just gonna just throw a bunch of these down as I do just give them a nice big spread and I'll pop one there as well okay let's uh, just for the reasons make a second one look at this why is it that weird shape I'm just gonna leave it being a weird shape so uh, do one of these and one of these Give it some leaves. Here we go. Little bit of variety. It goes a long, a long way. I don't know what happened there, but something weird happened. Here we go. Just dump these on there. I'm going to be more careful when I make the predators, obviously. But you go like this. Oh yeah, flowers. Let's give it some flowers. Just do this. Done. No problem. Uh, do you know what? Let's let's actually make it symmetrical. I was un uh oh, I was unhappy with the fact that the other one wasn't. Although they're in the same place, but they're pointing a different direction. It's kind of weird. Yeah, that'll do. Drop a bunch. Oh, hang on. Wait. Wait. I wanted to do that for the reasons. Let's make it a little bit bigger as well. Oh, the plant needs more sunlight. Okay, that's something we can do. Just give it uh, some more some more leaves. Like, like so. Sometimes the game is really good at letting you place things. And other times, yeah, not so much. Like now, I can't seem to put this, this leaf down anywhere. There we go. That one goes there. That one goes there? It looks about right. I'm just gonna just dot a few of these around. Oops, that one went in the water. Why wouldn't it? Uh, it just all over the place. There we go. I'm going to give them a nice 
that was the wrong button. Oh boy, I'm going to be doing stuff like this a lot today. Okay, let's put mutations on. I'm giving, going to give them a nice long time to evolve and see how well they do. There we go. Um, wow. I was looking for a nice spread of plants. I definitely got it, didn't I? Why do they keep doing this? Almost every time I play this, they, they end up like short, fat little shrub things. It's kind of weird they all seem to do that. I wonder it, if it's something to do with like the map. It's kind of crazy. Okay. I might actually just save this. So in... In, in future, I can just load this and go from there. Let's uh, create some animals. I wish you could save the animals as well. So I can just pre-make them and load them in when I start recording, but apparently no. Okay, yeah, let's... Uh... Do you know what? I don't use these legs all that much. Let's use some of these legs. They're like heffalant legs. Uh, let's use... Yeah, let's let's just give them a good opportunity to survive. Let's have a think here. Let's uh, pop some ears on. Find some good eyes. Let's scroll over. That's actually quite good. There's a nice range of colour there. A fairly good distance as well. Let's have a look. What have we got here? That, that's odd. That one's not bad. Again, a nice, nice range of colour. Yeah, look at that. That is the strangest thing I've ever made. Probably not. Go ahead and uh, what else can I do to help them survive? Maybe some of this? 3.4 to 39.7. I've never seen it that precise. What have we got here? I want them to have reasonably low defense, so I'm just gonna just gonna leave them like this, I think. Let's change their colour to be like that to the distinctive let's ready them pop them into the world it's nice to be able to put animals anywhere like you know, I can just put them up here although there's no plants up there so they're not gonna live for very long it's gonna pop them all around like this done Let's make some nectivores. And it changes the body type. It'd be nice if there was like a button here or over here where I could change the starting body type as well. What have we got here? Let's, uh... Yeah, how about these? Oh, 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 God, oh! <laughs> the game didn't like that, did it? Holy freaking hell. Give them a nectivore mouth. There we go. I'll give them the same ears. I quite like these, like, on the top spiky type ears. So uh, I'll give them the same eyes as well. They seem to work. Let's. I think I used this before. 16.8 to 24.6. I. Is that different? I feel like it's different. I don't know, maybe different is good. <laughs> what else was it going to do? Yeah, I just want to change this there. I don't know, like this colour? It's considerably different to the other colour, so I'm alright with it. Come along and dot these about. Just no particular plan in mind just just throw them all over the place i just put two right next to each other i guess that's fine 
Okay, let's give them a good old time to evolve. Go! Right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's have a look. They've stayed reasonably the same colour. They look similar in appearance as well. This one looks like it's changed its mouth, but that one... Oh, that one's changed its eyes and ears and mouth. Oh no, it's just the ears and mouth. Let's have a look to see what our most successful species is so far. Look at this thing. Surely not. Alright. Sure, this is the most successful species. It's got one of those weird nubbins right there. This thing. How does this even balance? They've got no tails. Really should start giving them tails. So when this happens, there's a little bit of balance left. Yeah, this one's got those teeny tiny little stubby ears. This one seems to have rejected its eyes in favor of other mouths. Again, I, I think these are the like those little compound eyes. What else have we got? Yeah, we've just got variations of the same, although this one's uh, weird. As, uh, I think they're supposed to be legs, aren't they? Yeah, it's got these weird little, like, growths. Poor thing's got elephantitis. This one's just gone loopy with the eyes. Why? Why do you do this game? It's weird. Yeah, so these are the most successful. Let's make a predator in a sad attempt to have them live for a little while. I might just end up making murder turkeys again. <laughs> right, I want something with speed. You can... Oh, there's a... Oh, it's not on there. There's a speed... Oh, I can't point... I can't select them and point to it, but there is a speed stat, so that's probably going to help. Let's go to attack. Two speed, two attack. That's got one speed and two attack. It's got two speed, no attack. Interesting. They're one that's like in between. I feel like these should have some attack. Anyone that's been kicked by a horse or a donkey will know it freaking hurts, man. Apparently you can die from it. I don't know if that's like true, but it doesn't surprise me in the slightest. I guess I'm using these. They've got less speed, but they do have quite a lot of attack. Oh yeah, there we go. Look. Murder turkeys. Damn it. That's fine. What about these? That's two attack. One. None. 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 Yeah, I guess I'm having these. Hmm. That seems to work. I wonder if I can give them wings as well. No, 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 don't do that. Anything but that. All right. Let's, uh, I think these are the best mouths in terms of eating meat. It's got three attack. And what is that? One, two, three, four, five energy from Mills. Oh, wait, is this one better than this one? That's four with one weight. That's four with half weight and two attack. The only real difference. Oh, and it uses less time in the egg as well. Maybe I should have given the herbivores these. Ah, well, never mind. What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, three attack. That's the same, but it's lighter. I think probably going with the lighter mouths will be good. So let's do this. I really have just remade the murder turkeys I did previously. Again, I'm kind of all right with it. Let's give it some ears. What have we got here? This is why I like these weird spiky ears. They, 
They can't hear very low or very high pitched noises, but they can hear quiet and loud ones. I don't know if there's one set of ears that are more rounded than that. These aren't bad, actually. Again, they can hear quiet and loud noises, but it's all high pitched. Again, that's all high pitched, where that seems to be more more in the middle. So it's uh, they can't hear particularly high pitched or very low pitched noises, but they hear, can hear quiet and loud noises. I think that'll do. Let's find them some eyes that will give them a nice, nice big combat advantage. That's not bad. That's not bad, but the rank, the distance is kind of low. I really want to do give them as much advantage as possible. This one's not bad either. I do want to give them a set of eyes that are good at distance, though. I guess these ones? Don't know if there's, like, a better one. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I, I think these ones. Damn, look at this thing. Okay, let's see if I can increase its survivability. I might just make it massive. That's probably not going to increase its survivability. It's going to need more energy to survive, isn't it? But it's also going to have more health. Does that change its attack? It does. That's eight down there. That's 15. Hmm. Okay, let me do that then. Let's have a look. That gives it two defense. I've just realized I, I've been neglecting the offense. That uh, defense, sorry. All right, let's make it a scaly murder turkey. A scaly giant murder turkey. <laughs> so, so strange. I guess that will do. Might give it some instincts as well. I know I didn't give the others instincts. That doesn't mean I can't do it here. So if it sees... Oh god, I forgot it does this. And there's 416 pages. Okay, right, no instincts then. Not unless I can do it with... Yeah, see, this doesn't work for some reason. In you know, in this mode, you have to do it from the from the world menu. All right, that's fine. They're just gonna have to develop their own instincts. So it's lethal. It's got a lot of defense. It's uh, reasonably mobile. Don't know if, where the speed stat is here. Hmm. I'm sure it's in there, I'm just not seeing it. So let's drop these into the world. Right, okay, here we go. Let's, um... Oh, oh boy, the frame rate. That's not uh, encouraging. You can see, like, how big they are compared to the other animals. This uh, should be fun, assuming, of course, they survive. Just throw some over here. Let's uh, do that. Let's just have a zoom in here and just compare them. If if the game will let me scroll in any way. Is that one there? It's it's hidden in the in the in the forest. 
the brush i'm not sure be the best way to describe this in the plants it's hiding in the plants it, it there's one right there i've just realized these are bigger than i gave them credit for is it gonna be like an ambush hunter i don't know let's have a look at these oh they actually didn't evolve any instincts into molesting. What about some of the other ones? Oh, look, there's another murdy, tur a murdy turkey. <laughs> Let's uh, have a look at this one. If you see the color green go towards it, if you see a light in the dark go towards it, if you feel too warm, cry. That's an interesting trait for them to evolve on their own. We've got one of these that I've just made here. It's chilling out with one of these herbivores. It won't let me select it. There we go. Oh, I think it thinks I want to select a plant. Yeah, it thinks I selected a plant. I actually can't click that either. Oh, God, it should be fine. I'm going to simulate some... Oh, there we go. I'm going to give them tons of time to evolve and we'll see how it goes my suspicion is that it's going to go the same way that it always goes all right we're back Ten thousand years of evolution i'm not seeing any right here so let's have a look see if i can find any no, that looks like a herbivore beak. Uh, again, I'm not seeing any. Let's check the tree here. Nope. That's a nectivore, so that's a, a little bit of variety. I don't know what it is. The the damn carnivals never live very long. I don't know if making them bigger was beneficial or detrimental. Let's say a bigger animal would need more energy from its food to survive. But it also greatly increased its attack so it could, you know, get food easier. That was my thinking. Yeah, these are all herbivores, apart from that one nectivore. Oh, look at that one. God damn, its eyes are right down the end of its neck. I don't know if that affects anything as well. Like, does it have its line of sight blocked by the mouths? Or, you know, can it see past the legs? I don't know if it adds like a generic stat to the whole animal. Or if the positioning is is part of the effects. Uh oh wait, what kind of beak? Oh no, that's that's yeah, another herbivore mouth. Well this is another failed experiment, isn't it? None of the carnivals seem to have survived. There is a nice variety of like herbivores. What is this? What are you? Why have you evolved like this? <laughs> and like these ones, like there's no way these feet hit the floor when these ones are so much bigger. Wait, is that one lost its mouth, eyes and ears? Huh. Oh no, 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 It's it's got a beak. So these are its back legs i think this one is worse than this one <laughs> and apparently there is one of them alive literally not one single carnival survived which is kind of what i was expecting i was just hoping for something different wow there are actually a lot of successful animals in the world normally you get like a few 
A few that just survive through the ages. Most of them don't. I like this one. It's got six elephant legs. Oh, there's another Nectivore. So I've got two different types of Nectivore alive. Uh, that's also a herbivore. Yeah, these ones... Oh, look, there's a carnivore. So it's not that far extinct. Like, this is the last one alive. And they are, like, in order of population. So these had a significant population. I would assume reasonably recently. I'm not surprised it didn't survive. Look at it. Can it even attack with its beaks back there? Again, I'm not sure if it adds like a generic stat or if that positioning matters. I can't imagine the mouths being all the way back there and behind this lump are useful in any particular way. Yeah, those look like the most successful of the of the carnivals and they were in fact <laughs> extinct. Yeah, they they're all they all snuffed it. They bit the bullet. Okay, well, that's this week's episode of The Sapling. Again, a failed experiment, but interesting nonetheless. Like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Put your comments down in the comment section, especially if you've got game suggestions. They don't necessarily have to be like evolution simulators, but I do think I'm going to take a break from this game for a while. I, I feel like I've explored the vast majority of the content it has available. I will revisit when an update comes out, and that should be reasonably soon. Or maybe just, you know, have a stopgap game in between. So, uh, yeah, do come along to the uh, Discord, do the chattings, and if you've got suggestions, you can either put them in the comments or the suggestions section on the Discord. I'll be back tomorrow for two video Tuesday. It'll be Colony Survival and more Thrive. Come back for that. I'll see you then.